Across the country, a pre-summer heat wave, scorching folks from the Midwest to the Northeast. For some, the record-setting temperatures climbing too fast, too soon. I'd say this is more like July 4th. And yeah. We, <laughs> we're about a month <laughs> early. The intense heat and humidity baking Boston for at least four days, going from uncomfortable to dangerous. The mayor declaring a heat emergency and opening cooling centers. In New York, temperatures in Central Park hit 90 degrees for the first time this year. And in anticipation of the high heat today, schools in Connecticut and Massachusetts are closing early. In Minnesota, where some spots flirted with triple digits this weekend, energy experts offering tips to help keep electric bills from climbing. If you got appliances, the dishwasher, washing machine, dryer, only run them with full loads and run them at night when that heat has dissipated. And more extreme weather out west. A drought is worsening in Utah, where residents are trying to conserve water by turning off sprinklers at least once a week, taking shorter showers and fixing leaky faucets. Back east, a preview of summer with millions sweltering in historic highs, but some still seeing the bright side after the long pandemic lockdown. Just being outside without masks right now is fantastic, so which is great. And here in Boston, we might be nearing a record high of 97 degrees, which was set back in 1999. The heat emergency lasts through Tuesday. And while those cooling centers are open to the public, city-run outdoor pools are not yet open for the season, which might be another good reason to keep eating that ice cream, Savannah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Hot, hot day. Kathy, thank you. And as we mentioned, the heat will be sticking around for a little bit. Al's got the details on this. Hey, Al, morning. Hey, guys, good morning. And you know, Summer starts June 20th on a Sunday, but in the meantime, we are already feeling the heat. Through Thursday, they've got those heat advisories up. We've got 18 million people impacted by them. Here in the Northeast, we're looking at more of the same. And in fact, the summer feeling today going to be a rough one. It's going to feel like 96 in Boston, same in Philadelphia, 95 in D.C. Cleveland, you're going to feel like 85 degrees today. Minneapolis will feel like 96. And for tomorrow, we are looking at that heat continuing, feeling like 92, or it is 92 in Rapid City. Tomorrow, it'll be 93 in Minneapolis, 87 in Detroit, New York City, feeling like 92 degrees. And as we go later this week, look at these temperatures. We do cool down a bit. Boston, by Friday, you're at 69 degrees, so not so bad, but mid-80s continue in Cleveland, Chicago, 90s up into St. Paul and on into Omaha. We're going to get your local forecast a little bit later, but guys, back to you. All right, Al, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.